a two-day journey. How was your experience? 100% you have to do it. We made it. Hey champs, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along with Chai. We're standing in front of Hompo Guest House and we're taking you today on a slow boat on the Mekong River to Luang Prabang. It's a northern city of Laos, a two-day journey. We're gonna go from Hua Xai to Luang Prabang. I think the taxi is here. Let's hop in and we're going to the Mekong River. We're definitely not the only one doing this boat tour. Our driver is arranging the tickets for us. We booked this via our hotel. We paid roughly 22 US dollars for this. And uh, yeah, that uh, is not including any food, but the transportation from the hotel to the pier. We're staying overnight somewhere, right? Yeah. Where is this? Park Bang. Park, Park Bang or Park Bang? Park Bang, Park Bang. We're gonna check it out. We're also gonna have some food experiences today. There is a ticket service here as well at the pier. It saves you about $2 if you get the tickets from here the day before you leave. We thought, you know what, also transport is included with the $22. So we might as well just get it at the hotel. The drive rolls were very nice. We got the tickets. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whew. All right. Oh, what's this? For the shoes. Oh. Hey, champs. <laughs> Let me give you a little tour of the boat. Straight away, we noticed that there are fan chairs that are quite new because before there was only wooden benches. So it's gonna get a little bit comfortable, this ride. More comfortable than it used to be. Here at the back, we've got a little bar a sink because we've got the toilet here nothing special but hey and uh got the open engine and that's why we're filming right now we are about to take off and i'm not too sure how much sound is coming off this engine and uh here's the dance floor ilona is straight away on the dance floor hello sir how are you <laughs> and we carry on further down at the back we have a little kitchen area and I'm not too sure what we are able to order, but I can imagine there is some fried chicken on the menu <laughs> because there is a little cage and believe it or not, there's three chickens here. We are just waiting for the captain to arrive. The boat is fully booked. We are uh, with uh, about 50 tourists. The vibes are nice. There was one gentleman who spoke to us earlier on. He was telling us that after two years, finally a month ago, they start operating again. So they're really happy to have us back. I'm also really happy to see that there are so many backpackers around. There's a good group of people. Everyone is in a good mood. We're just waiting for the captain and then we go. There he is, off we go, leaving for a two day boat journey on the Mekong River. The day is starting a little bit rainy, but luckily this is about to change in a little while. In the first part of this episode, we'll be able to show you some nice shots of Thailand on one side and some on Laos' side. All along we've got Happy Alona and a whole lot of other companions. There's enough time to relax, sleep, listen to music, read a book. We obviously brought some baguettes with tuna and chicken. At some stage we were moving away from Thailand, further down the river into Laos. We're leaving Thailand behind for now. The captain has to pay attention at all times. Because the river is full of surprises, strong currents, rocks sticking out but we are confident the captain has plenty of experience and we're loving the fact it's starting to clear up let's be honest the landscapes are looking much better with a bit of sunshine two more hours to go we might as well treat ourselves on a nice cold beer lao along the way we're noticing that the country is slowly developing it is 5 p.m we've just arrived we are in Pak Bang, just arrived and as sunny it was, as rainy it is right now, but uh, just a little shower, I think we didn't book any accommodation yet, we thought we could just walk around town, can we do that or should we just... Maybe not in the rain. No, maybe not in the rain, so we might as well, what's the name of the accommodation you're taking us? Si Wong Sak. Si Wong Sak. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> shall, shall we? How much is it? Only six dollars for the, for the loop. How much is that in uh, Kip? 100,000 Kip. 
Should we do it? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Hey! <laughs> squeeze in. Hi, hi. Wow, <laughs> so very basic accommodation, but that's all we need. We're just going to have a sleepover. Um, probably have some dinner as well. We're going to explore the city a little bit or town, I should say. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. We just woke up in this beautiful village called Pak Bang. We woke up by some rooster sounds. We're going to have some breakfast and then crack on this boat tour. There are a few things to do here in the village. There are several restaurants with this stunning view on the Mekong River. There is a little temple. Just the feel of the village is already nice. I could spend here probably another night or two, really. It's a really calm village with a lot of choice of different accommodation. We just stayed in that budget accommodation as you saw yesterday. And there's a lot of choice as well, also a bit of luxury. There is an elephant park across the river you can visit. And other than that, people come here just to sleep over from the slow boat. Yesterday when we checked in, we found out from our host that there are two boats per week leaving from Huaxai to Lang Prabang. And there are two boats leaving from Lang Prabang to Huaxai. I'll put some information down in the description if you're interested to go from Lang Prabang to Huaxai. They're only leaving from Huaxai to Lampabang on Mondays and on Thursdays. Yeah? Mm. How is it? Full flavor. There's just ginger chicken, but wow. You got barbecue flavors. There's so much flavor in there that I barely taste the ginger. Which is a good thing because if the ginger is sticking out too much, I'm not really a big fan of ginger chicken really. We're just sharing in one dish. Because on the boat, we're gonna have some sandwiches again, some fried rice. We just ordered lunch here in this little village and we're bringing it on the boat because you cannot order any food on the boat. We found out yesterday. If you wanna have some warm soup or something, you can order instant noodles, some beers, some Coke, some water is available on the boat. But other than that, you better, uh, yeah, you better stock up here because it's gonna be another Probably another 10 hour journey, we're not really sure. We're leaving around nine o'clock, they're saying, but we maybe leave a little bit later like yesterday. Let's crack on. And off we go, we just left Pak Bang behind to go to Lang Prabang. We are expecting to arrive at 5 p.m. We're not too sure how long it's exactly gonna take. Let's carry on the drive for several hours before we start interviewing several people on the boat. This channel is a travel channel. We're based in the north of Thailand, but I always like to meet other people and show other people's experience as well. Not only my experiences. It's gonna be an interesting ride from now on. I'm glad you're still taking along. Let's enjoy the ride. experience because everything very easy yeah as long as uh, we are contact with the local people yeah asking some information ah, uh -huh. crossing the border was that uh, easy and comfortable for you according to me of course Thailand comfortable for me yeah, yeah? but uh, the big problem only communication oh yeah uh, because I can speak Thai ah, okay. <laughs> but no, there is translator. We can see ah, ah. only show the translator right. to them, uh, and then they show uh, what should I do. <laughs> so you used Google Translate then? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very yeah. helpful. Yeah, well, yeah very helpful. Right. <laughs> from ah. Chiang Kong to ah. Hoa Xai, did you have any problem there? Oh, no problem for me. No? Because very easy as long as uh, we can tell the immigration officer yeah that I have plan, I want to go to here, to here, to here and then I show the map yeah. and then they give me please come to our country, okay. he said okay. <laughs> So now you took the slow boat, how was how your experience? Oh, slow boat, yeah. 
this is nice experience because having friend so fast. So fast. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. So uh, we meet actually a lot of people here. That's what I like as well. Yeah. Is there any advice that you give to the people that are watching now that want to do the same boat trip? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to a lot of contact with local people yeah. and then ask the, another traveler what should we do and then we have to respect with the local people yeah. uh, respect uh. the local people and then making enjoy ourselves yeah uh, thank you so much normally i finish with some wisdom uh, you already gave us some wisdom is there any message that you want to give to the world of course, uh, we have to respect to each other, yeah. and then don't forget to bring your traveler back and go, go, go. And go, go, go. go, go. <laughs> no I stop. like it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, You're welcome. Terima kasih. Kembali. Senang jumpa anda. <laughs> yeah. This one I started on the 17th of July. I was on the Reunion oh. Island, the Mauritius. Oh, yeah. 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 Landed in Bangkok. Um, Spent about 10 days in Thailand, going around Laos, yeah. Vietnam, Cambodia, and finishing my visa in Thailand. Ah, nice, yeah, one, yeah, nice yeah. one. This video particularly is going about the border crossing and about the slow boat. Okay. How was your experience going from Chiang Rai across the border to uh, Wai Chin? Actually, Chai, actually, yeah, really simple. Really yeah. simple. All I, all I had to do was like look it up online. Yeah. All the info's there. It's actually yeah. even cheaper than I thought it was. Oh like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, getting the buses and the tuk tuk. Yeah. We didn't even need to get the tuk-tuk, the buses just dropped us off straight at the border. Yeah, that's right. Border was a bit long doing paperwork and stuff. I think you lost your card there, was Yeah, it? yeah, the ATM sucked up my card. Yeah, yeah. Did, yeah. You, did you get it back? You told me twice not to use it, I still yeah. use it. Yeah, I got it back, like the yeah. people were really, really nice over the, over, like, the border crossing and yeah. got my card back. And then, yeah, after that, it was just pretty easy. Got into uh, Huan Chai. Yeah. Stayed there the night, found yeah. a hostel on the spot. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Same for last night. We stayed in Pak Bang for a night and then we yeah. came on. So how was um, your uh, trip so far on the boat? Yeah, really nice actually. Yeah. yeah, everyone was like apprehending it. Like they were like, oh, it's not going to be nice. It's going to be awful. It's going to be like really long. Like some people even catch the bus. Yeah. And I was like, no, I think I prefer the boat. And to be honest, it's just been like really smooth. Yeah. And time flies by because you meet a load of people. Like we met each other. I've met yeah. a load, load of French guys. The guy from yeah, Israel. I think there's about 50 foreigners on this, but yeah, everyone is getting along with each other. Exactly. It's yeah. just backpackers at the moment. So yeah, yeah it's pretty good. Time yeah. flies. Yeah, nice one. Yeah. Hey, do you have some advice for the people that want to catch a slow boat? Maybe a, yeah, something to warn about there or something. Not really, mate. It's so easy. Yeah. Like yeah, 100 percent you have to do it. Yeah. You have to do it. I think it's a great experience. Like, this is just nice chilling for two days, knowing that yeah. you've got nothing to do. Yeah. Just lay back, you know, have some yeah. drinks, meet some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you have a message to the world? A message to the world? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just respect everyone, love yeah. everyone. Like, be kind, be generous. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it, just be friendly, you know, just meet people and like, always be ha try and be happy. Ah. You know? This guy actually helped us. We were we were having some money issues at the border oh, yeah. as well. Oh, yeah. I this forgot guy, that. This guy is a, yeah. But I mean, yeah, this is yeah. what people are doing. This is the people that you meet uh, while you, traveling. You will never be alone, ever. Like yeah. if you're backpacking alone, you, you have issues, there'll always be someone to yeah. help you out. Like even with my card, someone from now helped me out, you yeah. know? Yeah. Then I helped you out, then some yeah. other person, you know, it just goes round and round about, you know? That's it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks a lot, man. No, no worries. I appreciate Thank it. You. All right, see you in Lampa Bang. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to Lampa Bang, my friend. <laughs> Google Maps actually said we are at Tao. A little place next to Lampabang, so we're gonna have to catch a taxi still. But uh, we're pretty much in Lampabang, champs. We made it. Hey, thanks for. Uh... Oh, we're gonna see each other again, eh? Yeah, for sure yeah. not. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, champ. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> they mentioned to us that we're gonna arrive at five. It's now just past four. And uh, yeah, probably we end up arriving at Lampabang at uh, five. <laughs> yeah. Just out of breath here. Expecting to uh, have a lot of people waiting for us, but uh, it seems quiet. We're saying goodbye to our friends, our new friends that we met on the boat, walking the last few meters to our guest house. James, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We are in Lampabang for the next few episodes. We're gonna show you 
the beauty of it, uh, food experiences, also the surrounding areas. I hope you're joining us for this ride. I would like to say from the north of Laos and Lamprabang, bye for now and stay champ. champ.